Hi, third graders. Great job on your work last week. Some of you sent me pictures and I gave you some extra points in Dojo. Um, so keep up the great work. We're gonna work on some different skills this week. Look at these two words. What do you notice about them? Right, they're homophones. They sound the same, but they're spelled differently and they have different meaning, meanings. Where, W-E-A-R, means to put something on your body. Where, W-H-E-R-E, -E, means a place. I can make a sentence using both words. Where will you wear that new dress? You can use context clues to help you find the meaning of a homophone in a sentence. Here's another one, red. Both words say red, but have different spellings and meanings. Can you use both words in a sentence? Here's my sentence. Have you read that book with the red cover? Did you use both reds correctly in your sentence? I want you to practice homophones this week. Here are some pairs of words. Each day, I want you to take a pair and use both words in a sentence, just like we did today. The words you're gonna use are for, our, there, and eight. Think about the meanings of the words before you start your sentence to make sure you use them correctly. Snap a picture or type them into Dojo and send them for some extra Dojo points. Today we're going to read a nonfiction text called Breeds of Dogs. Since it is nonfiction, we know it is going to give us facts. We are also going to see some nonfiction text features, such as a table of contents, captions, headings, and an index. There are many different kinds of dogs. You're going to read about the different kinds of dogs today, such as sporting dogs, hounds, working dogs, as well as some others. As you read, make sure you pay attention to the characteristics that make each group or each breed special. Make sure you're also reading the captions above and below the pictures. The book's a little longer today, so I'm only going to stop um, each, I'm only gonna leave each page up for a short amount of time. You're gonna to need to pause the video for each new page and then resume it when you're ready to go on. Okay, go ahead and get started. Make sure you pause each page because I'm gonna turn the page in just a few seconds each time.
Now that you read all about the breeds of dogs, you're going to do some writing. Each day this week, I want you to choose one of the groups of dogs that are discussed in the story and write a summary of it. Remember, a summary is only a few sentences and it gives only the most important information from that section. A good guideline is one sentence for each paragraph in the text. So for instance, in the sporting dog section, there are three paragraphs. So you are going to put into your own words the most important information from each of those three paragraphs for a total of three sentences. Sorry, I got a little confused there. Here is my summary for sporting dogs. I said, sporting dogs help hunters find game and bring it back to them. Pointers find game and point to it with their nose. Labrador retrievers often bring back game that has fallen into the water because their feet help them swim well. Notice I wrote one sentence for each paragraph in the story. Sometimes you might have to combine ideas from sentences to put them into one sentence. You choose which group you want to write about each day. Send me a picture of your work and I'll give you some extra dojo points. These are my two dogs. This is Belle and Beef. And I thought I would show you since we were reading about dogs today. Do your best work this week. Make sure you have some fun as well. And I will see you back next week. Bye.